An update now on breaking news. A fire that could be seen from miles away destroys a home near Smithville. KCTV 5's Caroline Sweeney is live near the scene with new information tonight. Caroline? Well, Brad, what we know so far is that no one was injured in this fire, but I just want to show you the damage that has been left behind. You said you could see the fire for miles and it destroyed a house. It took the house completely down. The only things that are really left standing are the chimney and some of the skeleton of the walls that used to be here. Now, there are no visible flames still uh, emanating from the house, but you can see that fire crews are still on the ground, really dealing with some of the hot spots that might be left and the smoke that is coming from this structure is absolutely incredible. The wind out here uh, was a factor in all of the firefighting efforts earlier today. But when we got out here with Chopper 5, you could definitely see the amount of damage that was being done with the fire that was quickly spreading. Now, when I spoke with the fire department when we arrived less than 20 minutes ago, they told me that everyone is out of the house and safe. The family is still here on scene watching the firefighters do their best to salvage what they can with their house. But when I asked the uh, public information officer from the fire department if anyone had any idea what caused this fire, he said no, no reports of an explosion and the fire marshal is going to be coming out to investigate. Now, we were not given any kind of timeline about how long this is going to take, but you can see that the emergency response is still very large here. I'm counting four fire trucks are still here. There's also an ambulance on scene just as a precaution. And they also have something that's unique to these kind of rural fires. In between two of the fire trucks, they have a tank of water, a pool of water, and there will be separate trucks that will be bringing in water for that tank so that crews do not have to stop their efforts um, so that they can continue to make sure that there's a steady flow of water and that they are able to uh, continue to fight whatever hot spots are out there. Now, like I said, we don't have a timeline for how long crews will be here, but we'll make sure that we can bring you an update when we can. Live in Smithville, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News.